What I love about working with nakedwines.com, it's quite a large community and I just feel that I have a lot of friends out there. My name's Katie Jones and I'm a winemaker for nakedwines.com. I live down here in the south of France for the past 25 years and nine years ago I started making wine. When I arrived in the village of Touchon, I was working at the Montage Cooperative and there were almost like 300 French farmers. But there was one in particular who sort of stood out. His name was Jean-Marc. He was actually the president of the cooperative and uh, he actually fitted quite perfectly into this romantic image I had of a lovely Frenchman. But it was only after I'd left the co-op and started to make wine that our relationship actually developed and uh, we got married just last year. When I left the cooperative, John Mark said, hey, remember that vineyard you've got? Why don't you try and make some wine from it instead of just selling the grapes? You know, let's give it a go. We'll just make a couple of bottles in the garage and let's try it. On avait tous les deux, nous sommes, je pense, des passionnés tous les deux du vin, avec des parcours complètement différents. Et euh, bah, que lorsque nous nous sommes rencontrés, la première chose, je pense, qui nous est venue à l'esprit, c'est d'essayer de travailler ensemble. Donc on a décidé ensemble de, bah, de créer le domaine Jones. So I was just absolutely loving my new career as a winemaker, learning new things, making top quality wines that were winning medals. And one morning we were into our second vintage. I went into my winery to taste some of the white wine. And I remember I ended the tasting tab, nothing came out. And I just thought, oh, Jean-Marc's moved the wine around the winery. I went to another one and the same thing. And then I looked down and the taps at the bottom of the vats were actually open. And I, that's when I realized that somebody had broken in and they'd actually just open the vats and just let my wine drain away into the gutter. It still gets me like every time. That was when I realized perhaps in the village people don't like me as much as I thought they might like me. And perhaps I've created quite a lot of animosity without realizing um, to, for somebody to do such, a, such an awful thing. After the vandalism, we were really not sure how we were going to do it. And that was until I got a phone call from nakedwines.com. They've said, look, Katie, we want to help you. And I was like, but you can't, you know, we've got no wine left. And they really insisted. And they phoned out and said, look, this is how we can work. Our angels really want to support you. They want to see you back on your feet. With the way we work, they will actually finance your next vintage. So they're going to pay you upfront already for wine that you have not even made yet. But they want you to get back up there and to fight the vandals. They also did a rescue case where I went and selected some other wines that I like in the area. And we put it on the marketplace at Naked Wines and it sold out within 24 hours. We were just like, this is absolutely incredible. I don't know any other company that could react so quickly and get so much support in our moment of need. Now, a couple of years after having started with nakedwines.com, sitting here outside my brand new winery, which because of them, we've been able to do up. It's called La Gare. La Gare in French means the station, and it's actually the old train shed that was built in 1905 in the village of Touchon. And this is where we make a range of exclusive wines for nakedwines.com. Moi, ce que j'aime chez nakedwines.com, ils travaillent avec des des nouvelles façons de, de commercialiser le vin. Euh, suite à un sinistre, j'ai appris à les connaître et, et ça nous a vraiment beaucoup aidé. Every day I'm in contact with hundreds of different angels who are actually tasting my wines and I'm getting their feedback in real time. And that feedback to me is totally invaluable. Bah, sur, le, sur le domaine Jones, avec Katie, je pense qu'on a les idées assez claires. Pour nous, l'objectif, ce n'est pas de, de grandir, de devenir de plus en plus grand. Donc pour nous, c'est d'améliorer la qualité. Donc on sait qu'on peut toujours faire mieux. Donc je pense que ça, on ne l'arrêtera jamais. On aura toujours des, des nouvelles expériences, on aura toujours des nouveaux produits. I really am where I want to be. I'm in a small rural southern French village. I'm making wine. I've met the man of my dreams and his friend and everything's fallen into place. We're pretty happy. Thank you.